but uh, plenty of options available to them. And Yuri with the dual elites here, Anders. Nothing the better is there. They're going to try and go straight up Banana to try and take a little bit of a fight. Already quick headshot from Art. He's taken down Marky already, and he'll find B-Wills as well. So this is a fantastic start for the defense, finally. And I'm going to call him Carson. I said this to you earlier, Jason. I, Jason, uh, Henry, I, I'm, not, I'm not into this whole reverse naming thing. I feel like it's... It's, it's, yeah, it's I know. due 2014, so Carson it is. It just reminds me of Cutler every time I see it. Exactly. Cutler was another one. We had Ethan as well at one point trying yes. to... It's not it's right. not acceptable, so I'm, I'm putting dropping the law right now. Uh, <laughs> and Carson. Just, that's how it is. Carson is what it is. Right. Drop, in the meantime, it's actually found two amazing headshots. What a way to get started here. Fury are definitely looking on point, and they're going to hunt him down. We're thinking about coming through the smoke. They're actually so hungry to I find like these kills. Well... It was the attempt of the B-bomb side, but completely shut down here. Carson, though, doing actually a pretty good job of finding a couple of frags, but that's all he'll find. Just let them out, hold the bomb site, and try to play it that way. Well, no frags thus far. We have got safe, though, on the front foot here, waiting for contact towards middle. You can see he's playing in front of the smoke as well. CJ Carson waiting towards boiler, and that's I mean, it's perfect, but the shot's certainly not. A bit of a man advantage here, but the team kill comes through for nouns. And finding frags still, it's still a three versus three. It's getting very scrappy, but still, the North Americans on top here, Anders. A bomb will be planted. I'm not sure how. Chaos ensues, and they come out on top. It's down to Caserato and drop for the retake here. And I actually thought they would have tried to just stay away from the pit position, and maybe just fallen back towards the library and, and you know, just go for the retake. You have almost everyone at the bomb site already. Ideal position. Like I said, oh, the timing's perfect. He swings out. That There's the moment there. And the fact he doesn't get a kill, I suppose he did damage towards Cynic. The kill was converted, so I guess you can call it one. Uh, but yeah, they just kind of fumbled around there. Third here as well, considering they saved a couple of rifles. So uh, three pistols, make it two, and a push down middle. Caserato known for this, of course. And we'll see if safe can defend them with the scout. Yeah, I don't know if he got the tag on one of them. I don't think so. It's just Caserato and Art able to take down B Wills to begin with. Drop will find the kill on CJ, and just like that, they're in a really powerful position now. They might have lost the A bomb site, but what does it matter when the bomb is still down on that T ramp? At the moment, Carson and uh, Marky making for a bit of a duo. They haven't really been spotted yet. It's not that far off. There we go. Early kill, and we'll find Yuri as well. So Marky's bringing it back. It's in a three on three, and I wonder if that's enough an opening. The bomb is still a little bit exposed, and they're going to be finding oh, it. Oh, no. Cynic drops, and with him, the bomb. Okay, well, it was looking like a very competitive round. Back and forth. Marky finding a couple of kills there, the star player, but now the bomb down in T-Spawn and the CT surrounding it. You don't see that too often. Caserato in a prime position with his AK-47 to find Carson. And uh, down he goes. Marky will have to find an ace clutch here. That's what I've been doing, catching up with the best of ones. I wanted to I wanted to see the upsets, you know, Anders. The best of ones are on. You want to see the tears. You want to see the heartbreak. After watching that OG game, uh, those are my sentiments exactly. I was like, this is just boring to watch from Furia. Let's pick up the pace. Let's bring that flair and excitement back. And Art is not done yet, Anders. He's looking for another race if possible. He's going to mow them down, and that is not bad. Sure, it's against blocks, but it just raises morale when you have those clean rounds and you don't give any money away whatsoever. Just battling his way through the banana area as well, but taking a lot of damage on route. Grenade hitting left and right. An opportunity towards CP spawn. Gives his position up, and now... They have to actually try and fend off the orb. This doesn't look good. The timing's actually working in their favor, but Caserato, he'll find the first. Art will chime in as well, and there's been so much damage inflicted. B-Wills. Again, just a bomb plant here would be so helpful to their economy. You don't want to be falling back, and you certainly don't want to give Furia a near flawless round, which they might at the moment. Wills is going to be going down, and Yuri almost continuing. Carson very, very low on health. He's eventually going to get run down. So only the one casualty on the Furia side. Is defending A alone, and only now safe is started to get there. Smoke goes off towards the arch side of things. Yuri has to come up with a big kill, then instantly fall back, and he'll find Marky. That is a great one way. Ooh, not gonna find anything there. Yuri exposed once again, and I don't think safe could re. Oh, he can! Carson goes down. That's a nice shot from safe, and he's going to keep it going. Cynic gets blown up, and they know that B-Wills is down. He's really made it back in the round. He got the opening, but now he's in a one versus three, and he should be dead on this one. Safe taking a couple of bullets, but there's 30 seconds here for the one versus three, and B-Wills now going for the bomb plant. He's going for the ace clutch on this one. What a way to get a third round if they can get it, but <laughs> it just feels unlikely at the moment, and you could see he's starting to get a bit nervous. They're circling him all around from the apartments behind him as well. Caserato out in the open and he will find the headshot as well it's a nice attempt you've got to give it to him but just too much in front of him 
We'll take them at this stage. And uh, here's a replay. It was safe, actually, showing us what he's made of the AWP. Uh, it's a little bit disappointed. There's no utility down in the clutch. Such clean shots coming in from the library position. Just peeling back here. So three players on the A-bomb site. It's going to be that pounce sort of play towards short this time. They're taking a lot of damage on Root. They haven't seen anyone yet, and they've lost CJ. Yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. It's unconfirmed, you're right, but still, you want to be a little bit uh, better off. Oh, actually, oh, it's B Wills again with another team kill. That's maybe not exactly ideal. Two versus two. Nouns with the bomb plant, but the Tech Nines have actually been their best weapon yet. Yep. It's <laughs> hard to believe, but it's probably true at the moment. They're going to try and see if they can get a little bit of a boost looking over the smoke. They can't see anyone here. This is going to be a rough retake. It really will be. And uh, this boost has found them nothing so far. Bomb taking at some pace. Coming up to the halfway stage now as well. And we can see it's a nice crossfire. Look, damage inflicted. B Will stepping up in these last few rounds, and they've done it. And there's a round. I'm not going to say must win, but it certainly is welcome to this stage. Tech Nines across the board. They steal it away as they find their third. And uh, here it is how it broke down. I can see another team kill coming through as well. You love to see it. Yeah. And they've actually got four players in towards the apartments ready to go. Oh, this is a, they're moving around a lot, Furia. This is really uncomfortable to look at. Good flashbang, but it doesn't matter because Art's going to get the first kill, and that'll slow the push so much down. Bomb is in the pit. Yuri shooting B-Wills in the back, and CJ in one versus three. I'm not going to lie. It looked to me like Furious defense was about to crumble because they were running back and forth over towards the library, but um, seems like they found a way out. CJ, just with the last bullet in that spray, able to pick up the headshot on Yuri. I don't even know how. That recoil just bounced right in his face. But he's still alone, and eventually he is going to get shut down. Drop will get the last one there. Got there in the nick of time, and aggressive once again. We're going to see that flashbang come over, the full flash, and oh. the art spray down. But it will be drop, baited in towards sandbags. These tech lines could work out again, Anders. Big damage inflicted as drop will find a couple. And there's B Will stepping up once again. Another double kill for him. And we're back down to a two versus two. A chance to plant. Keiserato on the flank, and he'll be joined by Yuri. Yeah, he's actually a beast right now. He's done so much work. He could get a fourth one here, taking down Yuri. He's up to nine, but you know what? He's had the two team kills. Or technically, he's at 11 kills at the moment. He's absolutely tearing it up. Keiserato with a stunning headshot, and he knows where that last player is. Grenade around the corner. He will's got the health for it, but he's going to go for the defuse here. He's got the kit as well. Oh, he's actually going to fake it out. That's interesting. Keiserato, well played. That's the experience just shining through. Good clutch for Keiserato in the one versus two and the defuse on top. If someone can find out for us why the glasses are not on, he did say in a tweet specifically he was going to wear them. I can only assume, yeah, the admin took him down. And uh, for now, safe has been dropped as well. CJ found an opening and there is a chance here. One that is slipping away. It's just going to be Beal Wills, but still continuing to find frags. He's gone from minus one to top fragger with double digits now and a fighting chance. You're not wrong. One versus three turned into one versus two. He doesn't have any more grenades or anything, but you can see Keiserato and Drop are a little bit nervous getting in there. Good setup, good spray. He knows where the other one is coming, and he nearly oh. has the spray, but Keiserato winning another clutch here. Drawing it close once again. It's going to be nine on the side of Fury, but my god, that got way too close. Yeah, you're not wrong. And desperation, I mean, they are down at four rounds. Another shot for the smoke. This time it's B Wills. Possibly bewildered at uh, how he got killed by that one. Oh, nice. That's why we're getting paid the medium bucks. <laughs> exactly. They put it on the B stream for a reason, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, so, it's Marky on his own. Just him. Um, and unfortunately, not really much he can do with this one. Five versus one. Kill a little in hand, as we said. And taken down from the back. That's such an annoying angle when you die from that one. You can barely see them. I just feel like, in general, we just need Brazilian Counter-Strike to come back. I'm so excited when it's working. The region obviously has a lot of really, really talented players, but there just isn't that one team right now that's really... There's so much talent, and it's just distributed, like, in a weird, strange way. Lots of, kind of, young, upcoming players, and um, a, a sprinkling of the experienced veterans still there as well, but just so many question marks around those players, and it's difficult to see who's going to be taking the next proper project, and... Look at somebody like Scrolls, right? Who is <laughs> over on pain. Yeah, like, he's absolutely. such an exciting player. Yeah. Well, okay, and as it's round number 15, I'll try and see if there's anything here. Four on two, Marky and Carson. With the flashbang over, it's going to have to be a perfect entry. Unfortunately, it's anything but. And we're left in the four versus one. Carson, what have you got for us? 
just a just a Mac 10 inside of the smoke. He's gonna get no scope from the heavens. Not a bad way to get started here. 11 for Henry in the first half. It's a bit much to overcome. Cynic, he had a really rough first half. Three kills, same as CJ. He's moved down the middle now with the dualies. This is a great position, but he's no, missing the bullets. No. Oh dear, Henry. That should have been a clear connection. At least he should have been able to see what was coming. If he gets that kill, he they probably call off that B attack right away, but... Oh, that's a nightmare though. Uh, Gut-wrenching moment for Cynic and his teammates have no choice. They're gonna be sending up towards middle. And uh, for now, Oh, it's all just going wrong as uh, Furia will find the five on three. You can see there's not much CT presence here whatsoever. B-Wills will be waiting for his teammates to rotate in from B, but there's complete control of the A-side here. Plant in the corner, and uh, I don't see a way the CTs get back into this. There's still a Molotov available for Art in the post-plant scenario. Just none of the bullets connecting really for the, t for the CT side so far. They've been shooting blanks. B-Wills, he was doing a lot of the work in the first half, and he's going to continue into this one. Picking up the first kill on safe. Nice little check there for Carson. Okay. That's not bad. The retake is kind of on, although, again, without a defuse kit, it's going to be all day for them to try and do this. They need these kills lightning fast. And B-Wells, he's just running onto the side, shooting people in the head. Carson's now joining in, and it's all on oh, Art. He's going to get run what? down. They don't have a... No, uh, surely they don't have the time for it. That's impressive, though. I mean, like, in terms of kills, that's really well done. If they'd had the defuse kit, they probably would have had the round, but they didn't. Yeah, that, that might help. He said that was the reason they didn't perform against G2. They lost 16-5 there, and they're on track for another scoreline in that league. Here's Art, and he'll be opening things up. Safe by joining the fragging as well. They did indeed force into what they had, and unfortunately, it's all falling apart once again. 14-4 looks to be locked in, uh, unless we've got Marquee. But uh, we'll see if an absolute nightmare of a play comes through for the likes of Furia. Us is now here, and Marquee's gone down. Yeah, it's when you have to, when your nightmare play has to rely on an MP9 and a FAMAS. You just, it doesn't feel great. And a couple more SMGs. Marky will park himself underneath the hay bales. Drop, looks like he's sitting up the lurk smoke out of the apartments. Flashbang's coming through as well. Molotov to push Marky out of position. That's unfortunate. Oh, this is a beautiful look setup. Execution's looking prime here. Hard to even afford to miss a few bullets. Yuri will follow up with the gap shots. And uh, that might be it. 15 to 4 on their opponent's pick. Doesn't look good for the opponent. Not bad, Anders. Have you like been working on these or is this uh Yeah, off, it's how off, I spend my back. day, you know. Um, <laughs> Nouns, gags, yeah. and puns, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wife taking care of the kids, she's been cooking dinner. I'm like, I'm sorry, honey, but I've got serious work to do here. Like I'm trying to trying to make put it all together. Like don't, don't interrupt me. It's really important. We're doing the B screen and nouns are playing. You understand, obviously. <laughs> this is for our future. <laughs> There's a lot of B Willy. There's a lot happening. Like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> we're making... first map of the day. All right. <laughs> Threads on Reddit with people saying, "Are they getting paid to say this all? Like, what are they doing?" <laughs> <laughs> we did probably take it too far. That was uh, one of those jokes that got out of hand. It happens quite a lot with the likes of you and me. And speaking of out of hand, so it's scoreline Anders. It looks like we might be done here as uh, the left right good night is coming through. Just poor old Marky here. It was looking at times to be somewhat competitive in the very early stages but a very comprehensive victory in the end for furia presenting that old flair anders you have to enjoy that the fact we saw some of that old magic come through that aggression as uh, we see them take the first map with uh, style and grace as they start to make their way towards double doors they've got a couple of smokes and flashes looks like a maybe an a split coming through Art, yeah, challenged right at the start of it. Smoked off as well. He's hearing that footstep. They're coming through the smoke. Yeah, Something that Art weird, himself would have loved, but it's Marky instead with the Glock. Cynic through the smoke. Going to be catching safe, and now Case Serato is actually blocking one of them. I think they finally realized <laughs> Case Serato going to get shot on the back of the head. I, I think that must have been calling it out. They must have been saying, there's someone in the smoke that I just can't find, and they could see him from the other side. Drop and Yuri, two versus four on the retake, but what a start for Nouns. Love to see that. Unconventional CS, they're not done just yet, but it looks like the job is done now. So like I said, it was setting up perfectly for an A split, but then the smoke down towards Acon. The other three, nobody wants to be the next victim of that kind of a scout tank. They might have actually isolated oh, Smoke here, is brutal. It is really brutal, yeah. You can see those little boots on the other side will be taking down B Willis. Well, there it is. The first incision has been made courtesy of those scout tags. B Willis is down, Cynic is low, but Carson. He has got dark control at least. Marky will be in tow. They're going to commit to this. Flashbang will be deployed. And they need to start finding some frags now. 45 seconds. 
Plenty of time and the teammates come through B main as well. Another scout tag is connecting. And they are running out of space and time. CTs pulling back frag left and right. It's getting all sorts of uncomfortable now. But still, Carsten fighting back when off along. And just CJ remaining. He'll take a dink as well. It's getting really scrappy over here on the B bomb site. But a chance to breathe. But safe hits about four scout tags in total there, Anders. Down to just the pistols to hang around with. And look at the aggression. This is something that we were theory crafting about before we got into it. How aggressive are they going to be on the CT side? They tend to love this kind of play, but it can be hard on a map like Anubis in this round. They're trusting in the weaponry, and they found the bomb as well. Yeah, the bomb is massive for them here. Um, that should be the round in itself. But uh, B-Wills taking a lot of damage, unfortunately, for him, just using the smoke as a veil. And unfortunately, Safe will take him down in the end and claim full middle control. That is the round. Carlson down to 13 points of health. Marky. And this is smart play, I suppose. He's falling back. He's calling it into his teammates, saying they are going to be running this way. And backup is going to be called for. He's playing very forward. All right, there we go. Back behind the pillar. Only 10 seconds left and an easy spray down. Marky can't win the round. Even if he got that kill, I don't think he would have had time to do anything with it. So smartly done by yeah. Keserata. He's looking okay. They're going for the element of surprise here. Creeping in towards the A-bomb site. Keserata playing bricks, though. Drops a flashbang and he's got safe with him. We get into position with the orb. And he's actually caught out. A chance here. Marky will find one, but Keserata the double spray through. And there it is, Carson. Just what they needed. A man advantage for the first time here since the pistol. Might want to reclaim some territory towards main, considering that fact. But it's not going to be the B site where Noun's finished. They're going to be walking in towards A, but safe. Perfect spot. Easy kill, finds the bomb, doesn't have to repeat this one. What a flashbang that is. Perfectly played. K Serato with the support utility. Arts with that secondary orb. And it's a very, very clinical round, Anders. That is beautiful. The two we said, the timing on that second flashbang, that's. And uh, narrowly misses out there. Going for a second bite of the cherry as well. He's going to nail this one, though, and not falling back this time. Waiting for any sort of response from the AK 47s, and it's going to be. Anything but. Safe will find a second kill, and Art is not done just yet. Just toying with them. He looks like he's enjoying himself for once out there, as they find a four versus two. B. Wills finds his first frag, and CJ will join in as well. K. Serato. This is a key moment. If B. Wills finds him here, they've got a serious chance of pulling this round back, just because, once again, uh, the Fury maybe got a little bit too excited, but uh, the frag isn't found, and the round presumably done. But CJ doesn't take any damage on that interaction. The bomb is down towards T-Spawn. He's got plenty of time to recover it. He's already in position. He's ready and waiting. He's got the right idea. Does just barely miss the timing. That's crazy. CJ is going to be crouching. He might be able to win the fight, but no. Keserato, lightning fast on the trigger. Going to be able to find that shot. And that's Furia winning another round. Even this one got close. I mean, this was interesting. Do they go for a super passive play? Uh, the nouns that is. Or do they go for a set piece off the bat? Maybe that's the call because that is just going to be a remedy for this sort of problem. Yeah, they really wanted to go for it, but Drop is just setting it up. They did have the smokes down, but they didn't have any flashes oh, to go no. through. You could see all those kills from Drop. He was never flashed at all. Three of them as they try to set it up. I mean, the, the, the set flashbangs or the set grenades coming out, you see the, the attempted to create a wall of smokes inside of the B-bomb site, but it never really worked out. Cynic on the outside now. One versus five for him here. And he's, he's just getting hunted down. Not even a chance. So <laughs> just hunting him. <laughs> Oh, no. That's the problem when you take a tactical timeout and then run a completely different setup. A lot of pros are saying these days it's actually like more beneficial to take the tactical timeout on your eco when you've got the pistols, etc. And then whatever you talked about, you bring it out in the next gun round because they just shut down. But they were presenting not relentless aggression before. Fact is to report that could convince you otherwise. But uh, this round will be indicative as to where we're going. Cynic on the AWP. Grenades exchange. And there it is, Art, with the opening kill once again. He's just having so much fun every single round. He's poking and probing, and uh, three kills found. We haven't even got to one minute 35, Anders, and they've got a five on two. Like, I'm just, I'm still, I haven't even, like, gone through the buy. I haven't even gone through the grenades, and they've lost three players. Yeah, this is just really, really rough, isn't it? Um, they had, what, like, a, a round where they sort of, you know, threw the strat book out and just tried to attack that, <laughs> that bomb site, but... Um... Yeah, Art's still pushing. He's relentlessly aggressive once again. Just... <laughs> he loves her. I just don't want to have to say it again, but he would be on for the ace clutch if he pulled this one off. 30 <laughs> seconds. Bomb on his back. And can he kick things off in an exciting manner? Yes, he can. Headshot found, but safe will be there to trade from the temple position. Double digits here. 
five rounds on the T side of Anubis. That just doesn't seem very encouraging. And looking at the scoreboard, I mean, Marquis, there, he's got 10 kills. Here we go. Everywhere so far boys. away. Yeah, they're going to try and do it. Almost a running headshot. B Will is going to be taking down Art. The first to go down. Caserato setting up a bit of a smoke there. Oh, and actually, he was going to get the spray right through. Could he get another one? No he's way. pushing on through. Oh, my God, the spray is sick. He's taking out CJ as well. And Carson and Cynic, they're practically both dead as well. What a move from Caserato. Yeah, that was super sick. Respect to Keiserata there. He absolutely bamboozled them. I think that'll be a very appropriate word there. They assumed he fell back. Most players would just leave. This is what you call a desperate call, right? This is about as desperate as it gets. You, you've lost pretty much everything at this point. The tournament's slipping away. You've gone for a five-man mid-rush, Anders. Uh, with no real tactics behind it. And, of course, it doesn't really work out. But still quite exciting. And uh, that maneuver from Keiserato. He's just listening for all those bullets. And may actually making it work. You see... He's like, all right, they're full on going for it, and he's just so ready. That is really, really sick. Well done. Another good round. Furia, they are absolutely wreaking havoc on this one. 11. Yeah, this is supposed to be a really good position. One good flashbang, and he could just come firing out onto the B bomb site. So it should be a strong play for them. A minute and eight seconds. They're setting it up with Cynic as well. Nice shot. Even if the smoke was getting set up there. Where's the flashbang to go for it? Carson's going to go straight down. And now they're trying to see if they can run through the smoke. They needed more of a flash to set up that play. Yuri's going to get a couple of kills. Art, obviously aggressive. Inside of the smoke, going to be fine. <laughs> and he just turns around, goes for the spray. Marquis on his own in a one versus three. And this oh. has completely fallen apart. He's trying to do something here, but he's going to get hunted down by Art as well. A 12 to three first half in favor of Fury. Absolutely relentless aggression we'll see if they could do more nouns in the second half after this uh people asking if nouns can make the comeback and about 80 percent said no so i i'm gonna okay. have to be on this side it's oh, really the odds don't look great either yeah you really don't oh marky though flashed and still getting a kill and the follow-up headshot is looking great yuri's gonna be taking one down but look at cynic he's walked all the way through the middle of the map to take out drop so so far so good case serato and yuri in a two on four to try and bring it back although that headshot actually opens it up they can escape now otherwise they would have been boxed in so maybe there's a chance Chance, Henry, they've got a minute and 20 seconds here. Oh, there's definitely a chance. Carson, he'll be given the responsibility to try and find out where they've gone. And he's alone right now, and he'll go down. I don't think that's the push required. Yeah, he's hunting for information. I understand that. But it's, where do you go? If you don't get the shot, if you miss a bullet, where are you falling back to? Oh, this could be wild. Nouns might walk onto this and say, oh, they're not actually here. And then they might just run right into Fury that are waiting. Because once they realize no one's here, there we go. Caught out in the open again. It's Kaser right up the headshot. Oh, he oh. wills on his own. And it's a two on four conversion for Fury no. as they win the pistol. Look at the high fives oh. coming out. That is brutal. The round is over. They're the ones with the advantage there. You just had to play one middle passively, holding for the, the connection pushes. And we see it go down to 13-3. Of course, the force buy will come through and be aggression from K. Serato and Carson here. Oh, what a shot that is, though. K. Serato absolutely lights CJ up. That one is going to hurt in the morning as he finds the early 5-4. on four. Epic shot from K. Serato there. Yeah, it was a nice one from B. Will, so the smoke, but it's kind of a little bit too late. Already the A bomb sign has fallen, and Carson and B. Wills, I mean, we need another two or three headshots like that to even start to talk about it. Not going to be happening. B. Wills is on his own with his deagle. And, I mean, they might even just come and look for him. They are pretty aggressive. Art's out there. He's obviously hunting for a kill. It'll be safe to get it, though, but it will put Furia at a 14-3 for nouns fans they will be eliminated from the tournament uh this one's looking likely well it's locked in to be 15 rounds they've got usps and here comes Kesarato, aggressive of course looking to spray them down good for one but uh there's no way they can really find much more than that maybe cynic gets a kill but uh yeah bomb down carson <laughs> Stop. Stop. Are oh, looking for it. Yeah, I mean, this, this they lost more players than they needed to, Furia, but I just don't think they care anymore. I think they're just, they're happy to take the fights. They could have probably fallen back after the first casualty outside of the A-bomb site, but they're just, they're just so aggressive at the moment. 15 to 3 is going to be the scoreline, and it will be Nouns now with a buy here at the second half, but... Absolutely true. Safe. Boosted here. And converting as they'll look likely to find round number 16. As we say goodbye to the nouns, didn't really get going this tournament, Anders. 16-5 against G2, 2-0.
16-4 in the first map, and it's actually got worse for them. 16-3 looking very likely in the second. A tournament on home soil, um, one they might want to have to forget because, unfortunately, this didn't really find the necessary trip home is going to be short, bring any it. sort of... Uh, oh, you'd like, I guess you're right. That there's, there is some sort of silver lining. There is a silver lining. CJ getting one, Carson as well, but, you know, it just seems like it should be too late here. Shot in the back, Art to get the final one, 16 to 3. As Furia absolutely dominate nouns. Nothing more to say about that. That was That's got to be one of the most one-sided games I've covered in a really long time. Yeah, I don't normally cover a blowout. I think famously every game I commentate is 16. <laughs>